So before I started this experiment, General, are you done? <sighs> this video contains paid promotion because I have received this product and a personalized discount code in exchange for including this product in a video. I understand it is impossible not to be biased when working with a company, but I will do my best to be as brutally honest as possible during this review. I'm Zoe, welcome to my channel. In a past video, I reviewed Duval's Brilliant Spin Care System, and it was just an overall wonderful experience. So when I was asked if I wanted to review their new Sonic Facial Brush, I immediately said yes, because honestly, I have been so curious about these like silicone spatula looking facial cleansing brushes that I honestly almost bought this one myself. I know there are some of these brushes on the market that can cost up to like $200. So I'm happy to say that if you use the code unorthodol at duval.com, you can get this brush. <laughs> you can get this brush for $28.50 US. And of course you can still use that same code unorthodol to get 70% off any of their cleansing brushes or styling tools on the website. Now, if you've never heard of this company before, Duval is a brand based out of Florida that sells professional, high-quality beauty products, mostly skincare and hairstyling tools. Their products have a ton of reviews online and they have a 60-day money-back satisfaction guarantee, no questions asked if you change your mind, and there's also a one-year warranty to replace any products that might not be functioning properly. So uh, I guess we'll jump right in and we'll go back in time and unbox this. So first, notice there was very little packaging, so very little waste. I like that. The strange thing was the little pamphlet that came with it, with the instructions and the safety information. That was a bit odd. It was in English, but it was what seemed to be really poorly translated English. I was generally able to understand what it was saying, but for information about the brush, I'm going to be going off of the website and also the emails that I received rather than this strange pamphlet. Visually, the first impressions was, uh, well, I love the pink, but honestly, to me, it looked and sounded a little bit like a personal massager, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, but overall, it was really nice looking. It feels very comfortable in the hand, both hands, actually, if you're a righty or a lefty. So. Here it is, um, whoop, block me out. Look at this, okay. So um, when you turn it on, the little light in the back comes up. I don't know if you can really see that. There's a little purple light. No, there's too much light in here. Anyway, there's a little light on the back. <laughs> All you can probably hear is this. Little light on the back that lights up and there are four speed settings. So first one. And then I'll turn it off so we can actually hear um, four speed settings. So the first two speed settings are more for promoting circulation and boosting elasticity and firmness in the skin. I usually use the second setting in the mornings for more of like a facial massage. Uh, it really helps with the puffiness. Now the other two settings are more for removing dirt, grease, and makeup. I usually use the third or the fourth setting in the evenings to help remove my makeup. So it is made with bacteria resistant food grade silicone. It dries quickly, it's easy to clean, and these little nubs on there are very, very soft. I found it really gentle on my skin. So this brush, unlike the first one I reviewed, it doesn't require any batteries. It is completely cordless and cordless. It comes with a charging cord. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also waterproof so that you can bring it in the shower. 
Now that's something I wanted to talk about. If you look here on the back, see the charging port? It's covered with silicone. I thought that was really odd. It also showed up fully charged and I haven't had to charge it at all. Uh, I should have saw that coming, my battery just died, so. Uh, we're back though, I'm back. So, like I was saying, this baby came with a full charge. I've been using it for three weeks, so I haven't had a chance to experiment with this weird little port. Uh, what I'm worried about is if I plug this pointy little needle thing into this port to charge, is it going to poke through the silicone? And if it does, does that mean it's still waterproof? I don't know, I don't know why I'm asking you, let's just try it. So I'm gonna try plugging it in, plugging it in, plugging it in, and charging it for the very first time right now. Where's my, I got, <laughs> can't find a USB port, because I'm microwave, my microwave, my microphone. Anyway, okay good, it reaches. <laughs> so I have the other end of this plugged in to my computer. Now, I don't know if you can hear my cat crying in the background, but it's raining outside and he's real angry about it. Okay, so you got this little teeny charging port and try to do this on camera. Uh, and it just, there we go, okay. So it feels like it poked through. There's a little red light, can you see it? You probably can't see it, but there's a little red red light that turned on and the other one's blue So it's definitely charging But what happens when I take this out? Look It I don't think it poked through and if it did it must have resealed itself so there we go, that's that problem solved. So I guess it's still waterproof. Ah, good to know, that's a... Yeah, I don't, I don't think it made a hole in that. That's pretty awesome. All right, all right. So now I guess let's get into the actual review and how my skin reacted. So before I started this experiment, General, are you done? <sighs> he doesn't know, like, I can't control the weather. <laughs> All right, so before I started this experiment, I did start an acne treatment plan. So for about a month, yeah, at least a month prior to starting this experiment, I wasn't using any kind of facial brushes, just my fingers, when cleansing my skin because it was extra sensitive. So unfortunately, I won't be able to say how this brush affected my acne because I was actively treating it throughout the whole experiment. But what we can compare is skin texture and what it did to my fine lines. So, I used the Sonic Facial Cleansing Brush at least once a day for three weeks, and this is how it went. So first I'll show you how I use it. In the evenings, first I wash off some of my makeup just with water. Then I remove some more makeup with some coconut oil before cleansing. Then dampen my face and the brush. Now I've found that applying the cleanser to my face rather than the brush was more effective. Then I turn on the brush to the third setting, start moving it around in small circles to cleanse. Uh, the very first time, it just kind of felt like I was rubbing a spatula all over my face. It was really strange, but I got used to it really quickly. Now, after cleansing and rinsing, you know how sometimes you take a toner and you go over your face 
and then there's still some makeup residue left over. That's what I was expecting to happen, but surprisingly, this brush removed all my makeup really effectively. And, and I'm impressed at how well it worked because it's just such a strange device. So I'm really pleased with this product and I do intend to continue using it. Now, actual results. I will put up a close-up before and after of my skin so we can look at the texture. I took this footage first thing in the morning. I'm not sure if it shows up on camera, but I found that it definitely improved the texture of my skin, especially to the touch. So similar to the spin care system I reviewed before, it made my skin really smooth, but I found it a lot more gentle. So I would definitely recommend the Sonic Facial Brush. For me, it was really easy to use, it was effective, and I think it's pretty inexpensive. The brush took about two weeks to ship all the way to me in Ontario, Canada. Now, the shipping price will vary depending on where you live and what you purchase, but for the US and Canada, I know that all orders over $80 US will be free shipping, so there's that. Now, the brush retails for $95 American, but with the discount code UNORTH at all, use the code, it's down to $28.50 US, which works out to about $37.20 Canadian. Uh, all right, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and thank you again, Duval, for this opportunity. I've really enjoyed doing these. If you enjoyed yourself, please consider subscribing. Also, any likes, shares, or comments, they really help me out and are very much appreciated. Also, if you're looking for more content, check out my other socials, all at Unorthodol. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking here, or you can watch another video by clicking over here. Thank you.